Hey everyone, welcome back to more of Stranded. And we're gonna move into level 7 in this part. Yeah, this level is gonna be a little bit complicated to go through. Uh, you're gonna find a lot of these dead ends, like if you go left from the start. Uh, these are real spikes, so... Uh, even if you could, you know, boost with the candle and get across, there's no point doing it. There's actually another block behind. Uh, this room, so don't try to get clever. And over here we have a Goma 3, so... Uh, we're not gonna be able to do anything with this thing yet. Just make a note to come back to this. Now those are the Octorok nests, so don't even bother with them because they... I think they just keep regenerating infinitely. They do a lot more. I think, yeah, they do a lot more damage than the slower moving ones. So, uh, not even worth your time. Just try to just skip through the room. All right, so the music in this, um, I'm pretty sure most of you would get it. Uh, you know, simple Castlevania One music. You know, was it like level three of it? Now, if you're wondering about the name of, like, Wicked Fortress, uh, if you actually know the name of the soundtrack itself, then the name of this fortress makes perfect sense. Okay, this room looks like it's empty, but if you go in just a little bit, you'll find that. That is a level 3 lever. Uh, it's kind of annoying because it, you see how fast it moves, it basically does hit and run on you. So, unless you stun it or, you know, catch it in a doorway or something. Alright, I'm just gonna keep going up right now. Because there are a lot of... Not so much dead ends, but a lot of paths you can't go on yet. Actually, just to show you, if you were to go right here... Uh, yeah, you're not doing anything in this room yet. Alright, so keep going up because you want to actually find some keys first. And honestly, for these types of rooms with all the blue man molas, probably the safest thing is just go from the doorway. Because these things move so erratically. Until you get better weapons that you can use. Now, you can use your magic wand, but that's really only good if you have a magic book, and I don't have that yet. Yeah, it's still easier to use the candle, since it's a 1 hit KO. Yeah, so if you happen to know the name of the uh, actual um, soundtrack that's being played, then again, yeah, the name, the name of this fortress will, uh, you know, it makes sense to you. And actually, I think it's for the next level as well. Same thing. Yeah, this is gonna take a little while to explore. Although I don't think, luckily, it's not like the. Last level was the what eight by eight map. Use the whole the whole sixty four square grid. All right, uh, we got fire troubles here. Uh, yeah, just, uh, luckily the bats drop refills, so if you need refills, you know, just let them keep respawning more bats. And you get hearts and magic jars. Uh, 
I go up here, you can't really do anything in this room, but I'm just gonna clear off the Patra. You can kind of already guess some of the items you're gonna get in this place. Because there are actually quite a number of items to pick up here. Uh, you can't push this right now. And you saw rooms with spikes and then a Goma 3. So you almost can guess what you're gonna get in this place. Now in this room, you want to actually take a second look. Because you actually find a key, and you know, you probably be using your lens every room. <clears throat> Make sure you're not missing walk through walls or something. The dongles probably respawn as soon as you enter the room. So, I guess that's just more free bombs for you in case you need more bombs. <clears throat> okay, the other two ways here... Um, actually, this one I think is a dead end. Yeah, I just swing around wildly until the door opens because it's just all invisible keys. Get not use not worth using uh, your lens of truth for. Alright, now you want to go left. You're gonna find a uh, what is this a, a four-headed Gleon. Again you can just do doorway spammage. Otherwise, not that difficult. Okay, now this room might get a little messy, so... Let's just whip out your wand. Make your life a little easier. Again, using your lens is kind of helpful if you kind of just look around and like, figure out where you can go. Anytime you see these nests, just get into the next room because, again, there's nothing you can do in that room. That type of room. you get anything yet, yeah, you don't get anything for taking out all the whiz robes. And make sure you bring some keys with you. And you can pretty much skip this room. There's nothing for defeating those whiz robes. And same thing here. Before you start panicking that you don't have any more keys, you, know, you can actually go this way. Yeah, I got magic as well, and it's stronger than your magic. So there's your extra key, and you're gonna have to just work or work your way around because it's all one-way walls here. So just kind of make your way back to the locked door you saw before. If you 
you take out all these dark nuts. There's your first item. So you get boots. Uh, so you can guess what you can do with that. You know that I do not walk on the spikes without any problems. And I don't think it drains magic, because I know some quests, it actually drains magic when you're walking over spikes. Uh, this quest, I don't think it does. You have a couple choices, and I think there are a couple of rooms with the... with all spikes. There's one right at the beginning, and I'm actually not going to go into that just yet. I'm going to clear out this room and actually go to the right, because that room also had spikes. Now you can walk over this without any problems. And if you try to get clever and try to get past this room, um, you actually use your lens. More spikes. So maybe you could tough your way across it, but I don't recommend it. Again, I don't know how much these spikes do. I mean, maybe if you only do one heart, maybe, but if you do four, you're not even going to try it. Hey, those lead nowhere, yet you want to keep going to the right. annoying when you have invisible bats. <clears throat> and not that it's a big threat, it's just more annoying because you won't see them unless you use your lens. Alright, so you've actually already went to the room above, so no point going up. Just keep going to the right. So if you go down these stairs, there's your second item. Okay, now you want to do some backtracking. So that room you saw at the beginning, uh, with the spikes, you want to go back to that room. So you could get across this room without, <clears throat> you know, if you used a candle, or maybe you can jump across or something. Or you can candle, you know, boost your way across the room. But if you were to go into this room, yeah, there's another layer of protection for that key. to get the power glove as well, so <laughs> might as well just get the items instead of trying to get clever. I'm pretty sure there's some spikes on these walls damage you. I think it's one heart or something. Yeah, 
this gets annoying because of the, you know, they respawn all the time, so you have to keep taking them all out. And I guess it's good for refills. Alright, now we can go left. And again, you need Power Glove just to even get past this room, so you would have found a lot of these dead ends that you couldn't... Well, not so much dead ends, but you couldn't do anything yet. And there's where you need your extra key. This room has anything in it. Oh, an empty room. And I don't think you get anything for taking out all these bats. Alright, so head on to the right first. Find another one of these guys you can't do anything about yet. So instead, just kind of work with the walk the walls you have. I'm gonna pick up some extra keys first. And there's actually another walk through wall on the upper side. You can probably guess what we're gonna, what other items we're gonna get in this place. Yeah, plenty of points you need a power glove, but you, I don't even think you could get to this room without power glove anyway, because there are other rooms that had a. Uh, these blocks you have to push. And just kind of work your way up to the upper left corner, basically. Getting annoyed by these rooms with invisible bats in them. by some point. Otherwise, you can just try to jump your way through the room and just try to dodge as best as you can. Well, at least you can take out this Goma. And I'm not sure what the... Just the regular mob lens in this room. It's kind of weird. Oh, and I think you need super bombs for this. So, you imagine if you came here with no super bombs. Alright, silver arrows. Pretty much could have guessed that one. 
Yeah, you mentioned you came with no, uh, no super bombs. So, they, you know, they are pretty cheap for a reason. You know, so you might as well just stock up as many as you can, you know, as many as you can buy. Now we can actually take out these guys. Okay, now this one's just for money, so not that big a deal. But you may have, you know, if you remember, there is one at the beginning of the level. So, uh, you know, using F6 continue may not be such a bad idea, but you'd be right at the start. all the way back to the start, and you can pretty much almost guess what you're gonna get here. Yeah, boss key. Right at the beginning, of course, and you can't do anything about it until you get those silver arrows. Fills in these rooms. I'm pretty much stocking up cash. I'm trying to think if I need more cash. Oh, I actually do need more money later on. Now you want to make your way back to that upper right corner. And I took out the Patra there already, but you couldn't do anything because you needed a, a power break or the power glove. Now we can actually get past this. And even if you came here early, you're still gonna need silver arrows. It's kind of annoying, huh? But again, you don't have to take out the bats, you just kind of, you know, you can move through the room. Now, this battle's gonna be a little bit interesting. Uh, this is kind of just a souped up Goma 3. And unfortunately, your playing field isn't very good. Kind of restricted with the walls of spikes. And if you came here with no boots, if you summon some. How happened to come here with no boots? Good luck. And 
this thing takes a lot of arrows to go down. It's all about getting kind of like a rhythm that you can use to dodge the fireballs. Otherwise, it's not too hard once you get a rhythm. But I forgot it was like eight or nine silver arrows needed. I didn't count how many arrows were needed, but it's a lot of silver arrows. Alright, so that's level seven in a nutshell. Yeah, so I forgot how many silver arrows in the was I think it was like... I want to say eight, but I didn't actually count. I watched the video again and figure out how many arrows, but basically it's a lot. You know it's a lot more than three. You know, might as well. I was to buy some arrows, as it cost almost nothing anyway. And I have plenty of money to spend. Now the level 7 war point is actually very convenient because it takes you right to the super bomb shop. So you might as well always try to keep a full stock of them. You know, it never hurts, and especially when they're not that expensive in the first place. Now you actually want to come back to, um, what's that, yeah, Raro. Now that you have silver arrows... And now you can actually take this thing out. A free piece of heart for you there. And nothing else to do in the town. Now that you've uh, scooped up that free piece of heart. Alright, so, let me clear out level 7. Uh, we're probably gonna go in the next part is gonna be this lower right section now that we have a power glove All right, so we're gonna take a break and uh, next part we will go into the lower right corner and make our way towards level 8 All right, see you guys later